weather to remind us of gloomier times. Last winter, when Christmas was cancelled, tens of thousands of people died from COVID and we found ourselves in a long lockdown. Not an experience any of us want to repeat and that means not repeating the mistakes of Christmas past. So what's the plan? In essence, we're going to keep going. We will continue to offer testing. And we'll continue to urge everyone to be sensible. We are confident in the vaccines that have made such a difference to our lives. And we're now intensifying that effort, offering jabs to 12 to 15 year olds on the advice of the chief medical officers and for over 50s and the under 50s who are at risk or more at risk, we're now motoring ahead with the booster programme. And if that's not enough... And we will keep further measures in reserve. Plan B. That could mean vaccine passports for events, a return to mandatory face coverings. Workers could once again be asked to work from home. In the meantime, we are confident in the vaccines that have made such a difference to our lives. The PM may be confident, his scientists are cautious. Anybody who can say with confidence they know how this is going to work over the next few months has not fully understood, I think, the range of possible ways this could happen. Winter is coming and people really should take this seriously because I don't think you need a medical degree to know that uh, autumn and winter is when respiratory viruses are hugely advantaged. An appointed message to the PM. If there's a need for plan B, don't delay. If this goes in the wrong direction and cases go up followed by hospitalizations it's important that the measures are put in place early enough and they're significant enough thank you the prime minister of the united kingdom but this a plan for england as before other nations go in their own way to avoid any mistaken assumption it's important uh, for us to confirm that the scottish government is not following suit at this stage in england covid passports for events remain a possibility in scotland they'll be a reality the Prime Minister is hopeful that vaccines and the booster programme will get us through this second winter of COVID. But he was at pains too to avoid making any promises he didn't know if he could keep, be that on face masks, on passports, even on the prospect of another lockdown. This is a Prime Minister who's perhaps learnt the lessons from last winter and all those COVID U-turns. Promises end up broken, but plans can always be changed. Tory MPs resistant to Plan B, but in Manchester, people more amenable. There's no way we could do a lockdown, but uh, social distancing could be a good idea uh, in terms of places like schools or malls or restaurants. I don't think I want the social distancing to come yeah. back, but I'd prefer to wear the face masks. Certain restrictions, definitely. Certainly a return to working from home, and certainly certain social distancing, masks, public transport for definite. Christmas is normally something to look forward to, but last winter has left its scars. This year, anticipation is mixed with nerves. Beth Rigby, Sky News, Westminster.